Why are bonds the, the key predictor in your view? What have they told us in the past and what are they saying now? Well, in some ways, some ways, Tyler, that they've been one of the best predictors uh, in this pandemic. You know, they bond yields, the ten-year yield started to fall before the stock market collapsed in March of, of uh, or in February of 2020. Then bond yields bottomed in March before the stock market did, and they've continued to do that over and over again. Uh, bond yields peaked out in in March of of this year, and that was correctly signaling that economic momentum was going to uh, moderate to some degree, and there was a big leadership shift from uh, from cyclicals and smalls back to tech and growth, um, and then bond yields collapsed in July, and that was telling you that uh, the Delta variant was going to really slow us down, which has happened, and there would be growing concerns about growth, but now the bond bond yields are going back up again, and they've made their biggest move off their early August lows since they've been coming down uh, and this year, and I think they're signaling that uh, that the Delta variant's about to peak, and when that occurs, we're going to see confidence rebuild again. We're going to see economic reports improve, and uh, probably we're setting up maybe for another sort of mini reopening sort of uh, replay cycle here again, maybe in the balance of this year. And yet neither of you would be terribly surprised to see a correction intervene between now and year end. Michael, tell us why you feel that way, if indeed you do, and I think you do at least uh, partly. Uh, Tyler, I, I always do. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm always waiting for a correction. Uh, and this, you know, this market's been a long time without any significant correction. Every time we go down 3 or 4 percent, there's such an enormous amount of liquidity right now. There's such enormous cash on the sidelines. Four point something trillion dollars in money market funds right now are there waiting to buy everything that seems like an opportunity. The other thing that, that kind of has me a little more sanguine about any significant correction is so many people are looking for one. So many people are worried about the difficult September and October. Markets typically don't really start to have a significant pullback when everybody's looking and worried, right? Mm -hmm. Markets climb walls of worries. But Jim Paulson, I think, is right. You know, the longer you've been on Wall Street and been an investor, the more attention I think wise investors play, pay to the bond market and the yield on that 10-year Treasury. If you go back, way back to 1987, for that big stock market crash, bonds fell apart in August, stocks fell apart in October. I don't see that, but I do see reasons for caution. And as much as I hope that Jim is right, I think, too, maybe the bond market's listening to the Fed, and we, we listen to what Jay Powell said. He sounds a little more dovish. It could be that the Fed's a little longer on the sidelines, yields are drifting a little bit higher, and everybody's just going to kind of keep their powder dry and see if we make it through the fall, the debt ceiling, and what happens with this variant D of COVID. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.